this short tutorial, we're going to show you how to make your background follow your camera. So no matter where the camera goes, the same background will be there. First thing we want to do, I'm just going to delete what I don't need in the scene, which is the default cube. I'm going to press numpad one to be in front orthographic, shift A, image references. And I'm going to use this image over here from a previous tutorial. And with this image over here, we can see how it looks currently. And obviously, let's open up a new tab. Chuck that over there so we can see it. And then on this one, we can remove this. If we select the camera now, the background is gone, which is no good. So the first thing I want to do is just get the camera aligned initially to the right location. So somewhere like this should be good. Control Alt Numpad 0. And I've got the camera selected so I can press G. And let's turn this off. And I'm quite happy with that positioning. Obviously, you can mess with the focal length for even more precision. Something like that should be as precise as you'd want to be, I guess. So that looks perfectly fine. And all we need to do now is select your image. And now with your image selected, go to the Object Constraint Properties, add an Object Constraint, and choose Damped Tract and make it connect to the camera. And then just change this, look at all the different axes until you see the axis that works, which happens to be Z, which is perfect. So now, theoretically, when we press G and we move this around, the background will always face the camera, but the camera is not facing the background. So right click, so select your camera, add object constraint, use damp track, and now select the image and make it minus here, I believe. So now when you press G and you move this around, that same background will always be there. And you might just want to play around with the focal length if you're moving your camera back and forth. But if you're not, if it's just moving it around an object, around a scene, this focal length would be fine. If you found this tutorial helpful and useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe.